It was a baking hot summer on the island of Sodor. The sun was shining brightly. James and Toby were taking children to the seaside. It was a wonderful job. All the engines liked seeing the children's happy faces. And they loved hearing them cheer when they saw the sea. Thomas wished he was taking children to the seaside. But Thomas was taking a big tank of raspberry syrup to the ice cream factory. Down on the beach, it was very hot. And the ice cream lady had run out of ice cream. So when Thomas arrived at the ice cream factory, the factory manager was waiting for him. We have to make lots more ice cream, he cried. You must go and get the cream, the chocolate, and the strawberries. Thomas was disappointed. He had lots to collect, and he wanted to take children to the seaside. If we get everything in time, said Thomas's driver, then we can still take some children. So Thomas rushed to the dairy. He collected the cream, and he puffed away quickly. Next, Thomas had to collect some strawberries. So he raced through the countryside to Farmer McCole. Then, Thomas had to stop for James. Out of the way, snorted James. Passenger train coming through. James's carriages were full of laughing children. They were going to the seaside. Why does James get to take the children, moaned Thomas. At last, the crossing was clear and Thomas puffed away. If I'm quick, I can still take some of the children, he puffed. So Thomas raced as fast as he could. Soon, Thomas arrived at Farmer McColl's. Please be quick, Thomas panted. The farm workers loaded his freight car. Before long, it was filled with plump, ripe strawberries. Thank you, Thomas chuffed, and he raced away. Next, he had to go to the chocolate factory. Thomas hurried through the baking sun. I've still got time to take some children to the seaside, he panted. Thomas puffed faster and faster. His wheels clattered and his pistons pumped. But he puffed so fast, the signalman didn't change the points in time. Thomas raced down the wrong track. Bother, cried Thomas. Thomas had to reverse slowly and carefully back to the points. Then he had to wait while Toby went past. Toby was taking more children to the seaside. They were having a wonderful time. Everyone gets to take the children except me, moaned Thomas. At last, the signalman changed the points. Thomas reversed back onto the track. And soon, he was on his way once again. When Thomas arrived at the chocolate factory, it was getting late. Hurry up, cried Thomas. If I'm quick, I might still get to take some children. The workmen loaded Thomas's freight car as fast as they could. It was soon filled with heaps of chocolatey cocoa powder. Thomas was ready to go. But the shunters hadn't released the brakes on the freight cars. Thomas pulled as hard as he could, but the freight cars wouldn't move. I have to hurry, puffed Thomas. He heaved, he huffed. And he puffed and he heaved so hard. The coupling broke. Thomas shot forward. Cocoa powder flew everywhere. Now I'll never get to take the children, 
Puff Thomas. After a long time, Thomas's freight cars were ready. The yard manager had released the brakes, and Thomas chuffed carefully out of the yard. Finally, the track turned left past the old church. Thomas arrived at the ice cream factory. He thought his job was nearly done, but he was wrong. The factory manager was waiting for him. The ice cream will soon be ready, he said. You must take it to the seaside for me. Thomas was very disappointed. He wished he could take children to the seaside instead. He wanted to hear them cheer when they saw the sea. Thomas puffed along the coast to the seaside. I wish I was taking the children, sighed Thomas. Percy was waiting at the seaside station, and so were lots of children. They all cheered as Thomas pulled into the station. Thomas was surprised. Why are the children cheering, puffed Thomas. They're cheering for you, laughed Percy. They've been waiting for the ice cream. The children were delighted to see Thomas and delighted to eat the ice cream. Thomas loved seeing the children laugh and cheer. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting with the children. Today you have worked extra hard, said Sir Topham Hatt. You are a really useful engine. Delivering ice cream is a fun job after all, puffed Thomas. He was very happy.